Hello, this is Bali Nirmal. I'm a computer guru, having spent my whole life in computing. You can find my books on computing by searching Google for quote, Bali Nirmal books, unquote. Please subscribe to my channel by clicking on the subscribe link below. Hello everyone, my name is Rahul Nirmal. And today I'll be showing you how to back up and restore your Windows 10 PC using a free software called Macrium Reflect. What you will first do with the software is create a rescue image, which will go onto a USB flash drive. And afterwards, you will create an entire backup of your C drive where your Windows installation is located. And this software will compress it into a single file and that will be known as the system image or snapshot. So this will take a snapshot of the exact time that you had backed up your PC. And so the reason why you would do this is, let's say your Windows 10 PC is infected by a virus and your PC refuses to boot up at all, or if it does boot up, it exhibits erratic behavior due to the virus. So what you would then do is boot up into the rescue environment on your flash drive and then restore your PC from the system image. And so the reason for doing all of this is it will prevent you from spending a lot of time reinstalling Windows 10 from scratch and then all of your applications, programs, and settings. Instead, it'll restore just like at the exact moment the snapshot was taken. So now we'll be going over to my computer and I'll be showing you how to do this backup and restoration process step by step. And I'll navigate to their website, which is macrium.com. So the latest edition of Macrium Reflect is seven as of this video. So I'm gonna go and navigate to the products tab, scroll down to the personal section, click on free edition. And then I'm gonna be selecting home use. And then now their website will prompt you to enter an email address to register the software. And this is entirely optional. So I'm gonna go ahead and not put anything. And uh, for time-saving purposes, I've already downloaded the, soft, the installer onto my PC before creating this video. So I'm going to be clicking the close button, then exit out of the browser, then go onto my PC itself, the file explorer, go to the download section. So here is the, installa uh, the installer file itself. Then double click on this. So the installer's just launched, so we'll click on next. Okay, so I'll click on next again, then I'll accept the terms of the license agreement, click on next. And so due to this being a free edition, they've already pre-filled in a license key for you. So I'm going to click on home. So now uh, once again, Macrium will prompt you to enter an email address for registration. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, just unselect that. And then click on next. And I'm going to leave all the options as default and click on next and then click on install to begin the installation process. And depending on your PC, this can take up to several minutes. So while it's installing, I just want to inform my viewers that to complete the backup and restoration process of your PC, we will be using two external USB drives today. The first drive is going to contain the rescue uh, media from which you will boot your PC from. And for this, I'll be using a 16 gigabyte USB flash drive, and that is more than enough, uh, more than enough for the environment for the rescue environment, as it only takes a couple of gigabytes at most. But for the second USB external drive, um, I'll be using a 500 gigabyte hard drive, and the reason for that is uh, it will need to be much bigger because this will be backing up every single file in your C drive. And just to show you how much space that you may need, uh, let's go back to File Explorer. So this is my C drive that we will be backing up. And I'm gonna to go to properties to see how its capacity. So you can see the capacity of my drive is 475 gigabytes, but I'm only using 137 gigabytes. So I'll be requiring my second USB drive to be at least this large to store the entire snapshot. And so because I'm using a 500 gigabyte drive, that will be more than enough. Okay, so the installers are finished. And so the launch now has already been pre-selected. So once I hit the finish button, it will launch the software. And then I will dive in to how to create the rescue uh, media and then how to create the snapshot itself. 
so now I have the free edition of Mac Room Reflect open on my PC. So you can see here at the opening menu that uh, my PC has a single physical drive, which is a 512 gigabyte uh, SSD solid state drive, and it has five partitions. So all of this will be backed up into one single snapshot into one single file. But before we create the snapshot, we're going to create the rescue disk. So I'm going to go to other tasks, click on create rescue media. So before you do this, you should already have the first drive uh, in, inserted into your PC. And as I said before, I'm using a 16 gigabyte uh, flash drive. And you can also see it here on my file explorer, just labeled as new volume. So uh, I just want to warn you that when it creates the rescue media on your flash drive, it will uh, format it and erase everything and then create the rescue media. So be sure to back up any data which is on the drive before uh, proceeding ahead. So because my drive is empty, I'm just going to go ahead and click the build button. And it'll build the rescue media onto this flash drive, which then will boot the PC from. And so this will, again, depending on your PC, it can take up to a few minutes. So the process to create the rescue media on my flash drive took a few minutes, which I have skipped over, and it was successfully created. So let me just go to uh, back to File Explorer and then take a look at my flash drive, which, uh, which is a 16 gigabyte drive, and see how much space the rescue media took. Let's go to Properties. You can see the rescue media only took 733 megabytes, so not even one gigabyte. So my 16 gigabyte flash drive was more and more than enough to store the rescue media. So if you have uh, even just a one gigabyte flash drive, that's uh, more than enough to store this. So now that the rescue media has been created, let's go back to Macroom Reflect the software, and then we'll uh, proceed with creating the snapshot of our uh, PC and the C drive. So the next step to take now is to create the actual snapshot image of my entire uh, C drive on my Windows uh, HP laptop. So I have Macroom Reflect open, and this is the in the internal uh, drive on my HP laptop. It's a 512 gigabyte SSD drive, and it has five partitions. And in my laptop, I've just plugged in an external USB hard drive, which is this D drive. So I'm going to make sure that my internal drive is selected. This is the one I'm going to back up, and I'm going to click on this option, create an image of the partitions required to back up and restore Windows. So all five are selected, and that's good. And it's going to take up a total of 134.08 gigabytes. And on my drive here, it says it's, it has a capacity 465.76 gigabytes. 130 gigabytes have been taken up. So it still has plenty remaining to, uh, to be able to fit the snapshot image, which would be 134 gigs. And so all the many thousands of files and folders in my C drive are going to be compressed all into one single uh, image file. It's going to be on my D drive, the root directory. It's going to have this name. So let's hit next. Now this is going to be a one-time backup I'm taking, and I'm not going to create a schedule or anything, so I'm going to just leave this blank and hit next. And this is the summary of everything that's going to happen during the process. So I hit finish. So this is the final step before it begins that snapshot image, creating that image. So I just run the process right here. So now it's begun. So keep in mind that creating a snapshot can take quite a bit of time. It can take uh, up to an hour or even more, all depending on the size of your drive, how many files, folders you have, and so on. So this will take a while, so we're just going to let it uh, do its thing, and then we'll come back when uh, this process is finished. Okay, so the snapshot uh, process has just been created and it took just under an hour, taking 58 minutes, 58 seconds. So I'm just gonna get hit okay, and then hit close to dismiss this. Okay, and now I'm gonna go to the file explorer and we're gonna take a look at that snapshot that was created on my external USB drive, D drive. So you can see it's all been, uh, all my, uh, you know, many files and folders, all the contents of my C drive are now located in this one single snapshot file. So then the next step forward is to go ahead and then do the restoration process.
Okay, so uh, let's pretend that my HP laptop was infected by a virus and it doesn't boot up or it does boot up, but it has erratic behavior. So what I've done is I've shut down the laptop and this uh, USB flash drive is the one that had that recovery media. I put the, that was created by Macrium. Rescue me this, I'm gonna plug it into the laptop now and I'm gonna power on the laptop and then we're gonna boot from this. So on boot up, I just have to, uh, I just press the F2 key and I'm gonna to go to the BIOS menu and I'm gonna tell it the computer to boot from this instead of booting to Windows like normal. So here I'm at the BIOS. So I'm gonna go down here to boot menu. So instead of booting from this Windows boot manager, I'm gonna boot from this, the PNY Technology USB 2.0. So it's gonna boot from this. So then it should load up that rescue um, image that Macrium created. So this will just take a few moments. Okay, so it's just booted up successfully. We can see that Macroom Reflect 7 splash screen. So I'll just take a few more moments to finish loading. All right, so now it's booted up. So now that it's booted up, the next step that I'm gonna take is I'm going to insert the USB hard drive, this, which has that snapshot I'd created earlier. So I'm gonna also plug this into the laptop, the USB drive. Just give a few moments to spin up the hard drive. So, whilst doing that, so now I'm gonna to navigate to the left here and I'm gonna click on this, browse for an image or backup file to restore. Click that. So it detects it, see here? Oops, sorry, this E drive. This is where the snapshot's located. See, this is that one single image file that has all the contents of my C drive uh, before the virus. And I'm gonna hit OK. So see, it loaded up all the five partitions and so all the stuff I backed up is all here. Okay. So then the next thing to, next thing to do is hit Restore Image. Click on that. So it says this is the source, this is the destination. It's gonna overwrite everything that's on my laptop, which is fine because Let's pretend it has a virus, so I want everything to be overwritten. Hit next. So this is the summary of everything that's gonna happen during the restoration process. And then hit finish. And now it's started up the restoration process. So yeah, it does warn me that the drives will be overwritten and that's totally fine. So it's just telling me one more time to confirm. And then now it's gonna start. So keep in mind that uh, this restoration process can often take as long as the snapshot process. So try to budget at least an hour or more, depending on your PC. And so while it's doing this process, we'll just wait till it finishes and then we'll move on from there. So the restore uh, process has been completed. It took 50 minutes, 58 seconds. So I'll just hit okay to dismiss this and close this window. So the next step to do is to reboot the PC and see if the restore was uh, successful. But before I do that, I'm just gonna remove the external hard drive and the flash drive. Just remove those two from the laptop. So I'll go to this button at the po uh, bottom left corner and hit reboot and click okay. Now the computer will reboot and hopefully it should reboot into my that snapshot I had taken. So it should be going to Windows 10 you know, before the, vi the virus hit and everything should be back to normal. Okay, so we'll just click on Windows 10. There you go, I'm at the uh, login screen. I'll just log in with my account.
there we go. I'm back, you know, I'm at the desktop of my PC. Everything's back to normal. So this taken exactly at that time I took that snapshot. So everything, you know, it looks like this restore was uh, successful. So everyone, my viewers, that's how you do a backup and restoration of your uh, C drive using the Macream Reflex software. I highly recommend it uh, to all my readers, you know, in case your PC is ever hit by a virus or anything that makes it inoperable. So I hope you enjoyed this video and it was informative. Please like this video and subscribe to my channel and I'll be creating more content in the future. Thank you. Hello. If you have not subscribed to my channel, please do so by clicking on the subscribe link below. Also write your comments in the comment section below. Spread the word. You can share this video with your friends by clicking on the share button below. And you can share it with uh, WhatsApp, with Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and by sending email to your friends.